Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a lens flare effect like this in Photoshop. We're going to do it in such a way that it is editable. So this is the before image and this is the lens flare effect that we're going to achieve. For this lens flare effect, I've downloaded an image from a site called unsplash.com. This is a site where you can download free images that you can work with. They're copyright free and you can use them for any purpose, including commercial work. I just looked up the keyword man and I found this image and we're going to use it. And if you want to, you can go and download the exact same image from Unsplash and use it to practice with. The reason why I chose this image was that there was something here that would allow me to apply a lens flare effect. There's some lighter area here. So that was the sort of thing that I looked for. To create our lens flare effect, we're going to choose filter and then render and then lens flare. And this is the lens flare dialog and you get to choose from a number of different lens flares here and you can choose whichever you like. Now I'm actually going to settle for this 50 to 300 mil zoom and then I can drag the little X mark into position so I can put the lens flare exactly where I want it. So I'm actually going to put it over this area which is where the lighter area of the image was. That's a realistic position for a lens flare. And now you can adjust the brightness so you can have it very bright or not so bright. So I'm just going to adjust the brightness up quite a bit here and click OK. Now that applies the lens flare to the image so effectively it's baked in there and we can't do anything with it separate to the image. So what I'm going to do right now is undo that. So I'm just going to choose edit and undo lens flare to remove it. And we're now going to reapply it but in a way that we can edit it. And the way we're going to do that is to add a brand new layer. So I'm clicking here on create new layer. It just appears at the top here. I have black set as my foreground color. So I'm going to press Alt Backspace Option Delete on the Mac to fill this layer with black. And now I want to reapply my lens flare. So what I'm going to do is choose Filter and choose this lens flare here. This is really important. You could go to Render Lens Flare, but you're going to lose the settings that we had. What is here at the very top of the filter panel is the exact lens flare settings that we applied a minute ago. So we want to reapply them, this time to a black filled layer. So I'm just going to click once here. And here is the lens flare that I had a minute ago and it's applied to the black filled layer. Now we can go down the blending modes and select a blend mode to blend this with. Now some of the ones that are going to work really well are, for example, screen, because screen is going to lighten this effect and it's effectively going to give us the same result as we had a minute ago when we were working with the lens flare on the background layer. And if that's what you like, then that's just fine. But let's look here because there's something interesting going to happen in the color burn area. See, with color burn, we're actually getting the light thrown into this image. So that's a very interesting color effect. It's suggesting that perhaps this image was shot at sunrise or sunset. Now we can drop the opacity of this layer down to get a little bit more of the man in this image and a little bit less of the light effect. You can also move this around. So if we wanted to, I'm just going to go and get the move tool now and I'm just going to move this around so I can move and size it. If I wanted a slightly smaller lens flare, I could just drag it into position. But of course we've got an area around this that is no longer black. I'm just going to hit the check mark here to put this into place and I'm going to now go and get the magic wand tool. I'm just going to click outside the area here. So I'm selecting everything that is not yet filled with black and I'm just going to press Alt Backspace Option Delete on the Mac to fill it and then I'll choose Select Deselect. So we've been able to resize our lens flare and we can also reposition it in the image and we have a few options here. One of them is obviously the screen blend mode to get a sort of lighten effect with our lens flare but there are also some potential options here with things like color burn which really give us a very interesting effect. We've effectively relit this image with just a lens flare on a layer, black filled layer and with a blend mode applied to it. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel. 
and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.